super duper thank you to Asteroid Fight Club. You guys are awesome. I'm now only $1,020 away from hitting my November Thor News fundraiser goal. If you'd like to contribute, I got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, and a Patron. All right, due to a bunch of sunspots, which then kicked out a bunch of solar flares, which kicked out a bunch of coronal mass ejections, we had a major geomagnetic storm last night that hit Earth's magnetic field pretty hard, creating a natural festival of lights all across the sky, very high or very low latitudes across planet Earth. And it was one of the most impressive geomagnetic storms that we've had in quite a while. Almost all of the colors were represented, and here we get quite a bit of purple, but the main color that seemed to dominate over the evening was green and pink. So you had amazing colors in many places, including New Zealand. You had eruptions of color as high up as Iceland, if not even higher. But yeah, I mean, it was a super duper colorful event, a festival of lights which I thought was pretty cool and happy Diwali to anyone in India or anywhere celebrating. May it be as lit as you. And it was cool. Diwali is the festival of lights celebrating the triumph over good, over evil or over light, over darkness. So that happened on pretty much a full, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a new moon which is occurring right about now. So I thought it was really neat to have an actual natural and yet divine festival of lights in the sky at a time where a lot of us would really like to see good triumph over evil and light triumph over darkness. But I am reminding you to buckle up and get ready for a bit of skyfall because we have a crazy lunar cycle coming up or so they say like i said today we have the new moon and then on the 10th we have a mars square uranus and then most interesting to me as we head back into eclipse season and eclipses always bring crazy energy the lunar eclipse on the 18th and 19th of november will happen right over algol the demon star and they've been calling Al Gold the demon star for thousands of years. And so a lot of people are saying that from the 4th through about the 20th, things could get very, very, very crazy. We will have to stay tuned to see if that is true. We also had a few more C-class solar flares. We have two sunspots on the sun right now and two more turning into view. So we definitely have more solar action and activity ahead now it is my belief that the sun feeds earth energy through our auroras and that energy goes into the sun's core because like there's a star in the middle of our planet and so for the next few days we will be watching for an extra uptick in volcano and earthquake activity about seven hours ago we had a pretty big sized eruption in kamchaka the volcano mike's weather page and I and Dada Boo and a lot of people are tracking a system that will go over Florida, bringing heavy rain and some heavy wind. But nothing Floridians and East Coasters can't handle, I don't think. But be prepared because it's going to be wet and windy. We've got multiple storms coming to pound the Pacific Northwest from Canada, Alaska, Washington, Oregon, down to North and Central California. But the thing that has my eye the most is we have a big, major, nasty storm coming around the 15th-ish of November. That thing right there. Um, it bombs out at like 967, which would be Category 2, Category 3 type hurricane pressure winds um, over land. So yeah, we got a land hurricane coming in the middle of November. So there's your system that we will be watching that will bring heavy rain up the coast of East Coast. Nothing too bad, though. You notice on the West Coast, you got another low-pressure system coming wave after wave after wave. You got a few storms coming in to soggy up the ground. And then you got that bad boy coming in that will affect the Northeast with rain, wind, hail, 
ice, snow. So the weather is mildly calm in a lot of spots with a cool down here in Texas finally. Thank you, Jesus. Um, and but then the it probably won't get super wild in weather until the middle of November. Drop it like it's cold, which is not really saying. But maybe we should get that going. Drop it like it's cold. Drop it like it's cold. All right, so you got some flash flood watches here. Holden Smith managed to capture this vibrant meteor with the aurora last, yesterday morning in Minnesota. You got a meteor and then aurora. We had to multiple storms to pound the Pacific Northwest with rounds of rain and rounds of heavy snow. You had the Costa Rican volcano with a sudden short-lived explosion. And so that is just south of the United States of America. So once again, I we are going to be on the lookout for possible Californian and West Coast United States of America earthquakes this year. It's, you know, with all the gas giants on the same side, we are on the lookout for volcano surprises. Hey, good news. Jupiter, who went direct and then went back, you know, retrograde compared relatively to Earth and then has gone direct again. Technically, relative to Earth, has been over the 22nd degree of Capricorn for almost 40 days, dude. So, you know, the energy's kind of been stuck in the same spot for almost 40 days. It will get make it to the 23 degree of Capricorn on the 23rd. I mean, I'm sorry, on the 7th, which is only like two days away. And it'll be in Pisces by December. So that's something to look forward to, in my opinion. I can't get too excited about the cool down, though, because as Chris Crepon is pointing out, Monday and Tuesday to be anomalously warm for much of the country, including at least southern New England. We'll have about a five-day period of warmer than average highs and lows. Like I said, I, I prefer the, the cooler weather to the hotter weather, so at no point in time during November or December am I rooting for warmer weather. Braden Creation bring us magenta. Aurora. Oh, what a night. This is Lisa Bromfield and many of the Aurora Chasers. Del Rey and Del Monte got in a fight over fruit and that created a water spout. Okay, I made that up. Yeah, dude, the Kamchaka volcano eruption was too legit, too legit to quit. Scott Bachmeyer showing us the graphic of how intense the volcano eruption was. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it does look like we're going to get a cool and some places cold um, weekend. Then it'll warm up again during the week. So Florida, get ready. We don't want anyone to die in Florida from the 50 degree temperatures. So get your mittens and your Uggs and your fur coats. And I guess head on down to South Beach and drink some hot toddies. Hey, it's like blue magic. Actually, I watched American Gangster last night, a movie with Denzel Washington and Russell Crowe. And a lot of other people, good cast. Never seen it before. I thought it was a really good movie, directed by Ridley Scott and one of my favorite screenwriters of all time, Stephen Zalian. But Blue Magic technically was heroin in the movie, so I had to make that reference joke. If no, heroin's not funny. And, you know, they always say, if you're definitely don't, I mean, if you, a drug that wipes people out like heroin, that it's like a dragon you can't beat. So don't ever try it, kids. All right, Sky Vista. I've never seen Blue Aurora before. But it was nothing this morning. Wait, no, sorry. But there it was this morning. Actually got almost all the colors of the rainbow in this one. And this is from Wisconsin. God's country. All right. So I stayed up all night watching the Aurora shows on the Twitters. And then I fell asleep. And then I got Barry Manilow's Looks Like We Made It. Stuck in my brain. I didn't sing that well. And for that, I apologize. Deborah Malak showing us Southern Manitoba. Had some Aurora Borealis. You know what? I'm in a weird mood because when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and people kind of lose their minds. Wouldn't you agree, Donna? Oh, her aching heart. That was a wild night last night. So, yep. And this was in uh, some place in the world. Okay, great. But sure, yeah. A lot of people look for bad signs, and there are bad signs everywhere. But So I take the good signs whenever you can get them. And as Ando is pointing out, it is shining on in India as they celebrate Diwali. And so having, you know, the Festival of Lights and, and an actual Festival of Lights in the sky during the new moon, I, I think may be a good sign. But I think, you know, the next four months are definitely going to be a giant battle between, like, good and evil, 
dipshits and people who make smart choices and good choices and the kind and the cool. Um, I don't know. I did a live video last night talking about the alcohol demon star stuff. There are a lot of theories on it floating around, but definitely, it, you know, it's still going to be dark winter. So I think spring of 2022 is going to be relatively awesome, but I still recommending play defense between now and then because it's going to get wild. Um, shout out to the people who are lactose intolerant because everybody was talking about milk all day because some lady claimed that her family went through 12 gallons of milk every week, which may, we know may be true, but dang, that does seem like a lot of milk. Dilbert saying the analysis doesn't need to be correct. It only needs to support the decision I already made. Hmm. What could that apply to? Michael Jägermeister showing us 67P Churi Malv on November 3rd. This comet is zip zapping around our solar system. Jane George showing us an spectacular Arctic beauty ring. Yeah, I guess God liked it. He wanted it and he put, he put a ring on it. Oh, no, that didn't work. A joke. Tree Tanner showing us some absolutely insane aurora shots. Red and pink pillars in the sky. Be beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Okay, beautiful. All right, so everybody stay cool, be cool, try and have a fantastic, great, wonderful weekend, and, um, you know, enjoy the finer things in life, but be prepared for maybe a shitstorm or two over the next few months, all right? I am your Planetary Defense Commander, and if you'd like to show some support leading up to my nine-year anniversary of Thor News, which will happen on the 23rd, you can send a letter to the mail. Hey, I got a PayPal, I got a Venmo, I got a Cash App, I got a Patron, and I got nothing but love for y'all because you guys are fantastic and amazing to me, and I'm grateful for that. Super duper appreciate it. Um, I do enjoy being your planetary defense commander. I will do my best to lead us through what could be a choppy last few months. Like I said, we'll watch out for a weird week. Definitely keep an eye on the 10th, and then, yeah, let's keep an eye out for weird shit around the lunar eclipse. But we got more time to discuss that, so we shall. So thank you again, Pastor of Fight Club. We only got $1,020 left to raise for my November fundraiser. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Carmen, Andrea, Michelle, Sunlight, Starlight, Angel, Nancy, Cody, JCR, DWP, the Texas Angel, the Wizard of Oz, Alexis, Lauren, Richard, Barbara, Glenda, Arnica, Light Soul, Dan the Man, Marlita, Brian, Ann, KJ, and Max. Everybody stay cool, and I'll talk to y'all in the near future. Peace out. God bless everyone.